Hey, 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 hello guys. So the last time when I made the video about the Tupperware bot, I noticed that the visualization was really slow and lagging. So this time in order to make things better and hopefully things are gonna get better, I don't know, I'm gonna use another machine. So I'm gonna have like two computers running besides to the Raspberry Pi here on the robot and yeah so you see this is the raspberry pi and by the way actually i added an imu that i'm going to use later for sensor fusion for yeah uh for for navigation and i have something there in the making <laughs> this is going to be a surprise this is for later yeah right now let me explain a little bit about what's happening in here so this is my main machine where i am also making this video. Here I staged into the Raspberry Pi. I'm gonna use here Tmax in order to multiply my 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 setup, my my terminal. So I'm gonna start and I'm gonna bring up the robot. This is gonna start the low level control at the top of the robot. And then afterwards uh, I'm gonna start the RP LIDAR. Press to launch RP LIDAR, RP LIDAR dot launch by. I think I did something here. Uh, dot launch dot by, please start. So I started here the low level control node that bring up my robot and I set to up LIDAR. So this is my other computer where I'm gonna run SLAM. So I can make sure that everything on the network is connected by using Rosto topic list and then noticing that yeah the same devil and other topics are being published. This means that my my second computer that I'm gonna use for for SLAM yeah is is running, is is getting the topics fine. I can go back here to my main computer and I can check and also this main computer is getting uh, the topics fine and dandy. So let me again multiply my, oops, what did I do? Uh, let me stick. Oops. I wanted to multiply my terminal, but I screw things up. <laughs> okay. Clear. Okay. So let's install stop the bash. I'm going to do Tmax, Ctrl P, and right now I'm multiply my terminal. I'm going to so sub again and this sucks really this goes always to sleep and i have to ping it up again in order to wake it up okay so i'm gonna run right now the odometry node or to launch if it was odometry odometry okay this is the odometry and here i'm gonna run the slam node. So the slam is going to be run, or as they say, it's on this other computer. Press to launch. Stop our slam. Aware about, yeah, what's going on? Why it's not finding it? Press to launch. Stop aware. Stop aware of this. No, sorry. I want to go to slam and then uh, where is it? Slam. Yeah, so I run my simultaneous localization and mapping. Now let's start the visualization. Rest uh, source my working directory and let's to launch. Uh, then I have to run out of this. So as I said, 
the visualization is being run on this main machine. So I run out of this, and let us see, and yeah, everything is fine and dandy. And yeah, the route doesn't show up. Probably I'm not publishing it or something. What's going on? Oh, it's description. It's here. For some reason it's not showing. <laughs> Still is okay. And to be okay. Oh, description. Ross to to be kicker. Oh, description. Description, let us see. Ah, it's not being published. Yeah. I have to publish it. Okay, I'm <laughs> I'm gonna publish it for my main machine here. Launch to the way but but description description let me do I just play I don't remember which one is okay and here we see the robot okay right now let me do some navigation I'm gonna do the navigation from my main machine not navigation, sorry, teleoperation. Yeah, I know, my English sucks. Run teleop, twist keyboard, teleop, twist keyboard. Yeah, so you see, I feel that my system, my visualization is better right now. Yeah, 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 I see. The system is, is running better though. I see that the robot is jumping around a little bit. I don't know why. But in general, the visualization is much better than the last time. The last time, yeah, the visualization was really sluggish and everything was quite slow. Right now, things are working fine. Okay, let us see another way to do the visualization. I'm gonna start something called Foxglove. And as I said, I'm gonna be running the visualization only on this machine, my main machine. While the slam, as you see, and yeah, some other computations are being run on this on this computer that I MSSH'd into. And the low-level control is being run on the Raspberry Pi. Yeah, the robots. We can see it right now. I can bring the robot a little bit nearby. Then I'm gonna use another way to visualize my robot using something called, yeah, some new way to do it. It's called yeah, Fox Glove, Blackish or something, I don't know. Yeah, Fox Glove, let us start Fox Glove. But before starting Fox, oh, I have some issue here with the robot model. What's going on? I don't know. But anyhow, it shows up. Shows up nicely. I can see it. Ah, I can't see the wheels. Okay, I have to check out what's going on. But let me show you this other way of visualization. So I can start this terminal, and uh, I'm gonna multiply it. And in here, I'm gonna launch the. Uh, the WebSocket Bridge, Ross WebSocket Bridge. I don't remember the name of the package. Ross Bridge, yeah. You see, Ross Bridge Server, exactly. And Ross Bridge, uh, Ross Bridge WebSocket.launch.xml. So right now, this this package is gonna subscribe into all of the topics in in my in my network. My uh, it's gonna subscribe into all those two topics in my network, and it's gonna publish them as web sockets. Uh, also, we have to run something else. It's called ROS API. Uh, Ros to run. Sorry, Ros to run. Ros API. And. 
Windows API node. And look, right now I'm using two ways for visualization. And actually, it's a good idea to have another computer to run the slam because otherwise, yeah, things can get crazy. I have too many things running at the same time. So let me multiply also this this thing. And let me start Foxglove. This Foxglove Studio is a way for visualization. Actually, I like it. Uh, it's it's RVs, RQT, and many things all bundled together. Uh, let us come here. I'm gonna open a connection. I'm gonna open a connection with Rustbridge, and the Rustbridge is running on this my main machine. It's a good idea to run it on the main machine. Actually, I tried to subscribe on something on another machine. Yeah, but things crashed. Also, I'm not. I don't have the best network. <laughs> so, yeah. So you see, I have here the robot, very beautiful and nicely. I can add something, actually I discovered that I can add some panels, like something to to publish CMDVL. Uh, what was it? It was teleoperation, I think. Yeah. Is the teleoperation? Ah, teleop, here it is. So I can add something for teleoperation. And I'm going to publish the two pick CMD Val. Okay. Hmm. Okay, nice. But here there's something nasty because uh, I have to tell you about something. When I tried to use it, actually, there is no way to stop. So once you send the command to move to the front, it's going to keep moving to the front. I didn't know how to stop it, you see? It's moving to the front, then I can make it rotate around. Yeah, but I couldn't stop it. <laughs> so to stop it, I'm gonna publish something in here. This is so stupid, I know. I don't know why they missed this stop button. But okay, you see, things are working fine somehow. Uh, 